What is up guys, it's your boy Akatsuki and I'm back bringing you know, another episode of Auto Chess. In this episode, we're going to be looking into the newest patch that's going to be coming out for the game, which will be up on the 16th of July. We have quite a bit to talk about. What I'm going to be talking about today is my own personal opinions of what's going to be able to be coming in this patch, what's going to be good, and I'm going to show you a team that I think personally i could be wrong other people might think other thoughts and other ways but me personally i believe this team that i have built up can possibly get you some dubs or maybe at least get you top three now let's go ahead and start by reading off the patch notes in this patch it was said um the, obviously, it started off by saying uh, that the weakest uh, synergy of last week was Warrior. Being s uh, that being said, is because Warrior, I don't think was viable the past the, this last patch. I don't think a lot of people were using it. A lot of people, um, it, it was just getting countered and countered and countered. It was not winning. It had a very low win rate, and and it, it just didn't work. There wasn't enough ways to make that team work. But, in this patch, I personally believe that there is going to be a way where we can do warrior synergies and it will actually work. Let's go ahead and um, look in here. Um, warrior synergy from 3, 6, and 9 um, warriors. It's uh, They adjusted the bonus of the armor from 5, 7, 9 to 6, 7, 8. That being said, Warriors, I believe, will have a better early game and then fall off later on into the game, or at least, you know, stay at, a, at an equal, equal stance. I personally believe with this next patch, I don't think you'll need more than three Warriors, um, and then you can do other, other synergies, as you can see by the build that I'm going to be doing is um i believe you can be able to uh do warriors um hunters warriors um uh, whatever you whatever you think whatever you want to try um i believe it's going to be a little bit more viable uh and it's going to be easier to do next we're going to be looking at possibly i believe possibly one of the most underrated um races which is the um the cape con race um they did update them seen as they weren't used too often and uh, if they were used they were just getting massacred I I used it in one of my games and it did okay but it could have it could be better and in this patch I believe it will be better as you can see right here we can look at swordsman blade fury they adjusted the damage per second from 550 100 150 to 75 150 to 25 so that's an extra 25 ticks of damage at a 1 star, an extra 50 damage at 2 star, and an extra 75 damage at 3 star. That's a lot. I think Swordman is going to be used a lot this patch. I think it's going to be used a lot this patch. Um, just with that extra damage, I think it's going to make him very, very useful. As well as you can see, the Red Axe Chief... It's taunt got adjusted. Armor gained from 5, 10, 15 to 10, 15, 20. So at 1 star, you're getting double the armor. At 2 star, you're only getting 5 extra, armor, which is still not bad. As well as 3 star, you're still getting that, that um, extra 5. Which is not bad. First of all, that 1 star, you know, early game getting a Swordsman Red Axe. That's that's already cave uh, cave clan um, synergy, which is the extra health. That itself right there is such a good start, in my opinion, that it's gonna be getting people a lot faster through the early rounds and a lot more different synergies, a lot more builds that are gonna be happening. That's my opinion. As well, we can also see the beast synergy with four to six, obviously, 
they adjusted the, the attack damage from 15% to and 20% to 20% and 25%. That's crazy. So instead of having 6 at 20%, you can have 4 at 20% and then 6 at 25%. B synergies. I think this this was a small buff, not too big, not too small. I think it would be I don't think it's going to be be a big of an impact as for say the the swordsman one or even the red axe chief i think those are going to be a, a little bit bigger of an impact than the beast the beast synergy as well we also did did get a a, a little um balance thing for a uh, tortilla elder which um now it will take the enemy's piece with the highest sell price as its main target and release the skill okay that's not too bad basically if you have a um a five five uh, piece cost it'll go after that or four piece whatever is the is the uh, most expensive nothing too special there i think it uh, i think I, I think it'll be i think it'll be good it's I, I that one i do not know exactly i think i think you would just have to see in game i think it would be um, an in game thing in order to find out if it's going to be good or not next we also have flaming wizard um, it won't take the enemy who has 100% magic resist as his target. Eh, you know that one? Like I said, the uh, Tortilla Elder and Flaming Wizard, not too worried about those. Like I said, it's something that you might uh, have to see in game uh, to know if it's going to be good or not. Obviously, we, we haven't played with it because, you know, it's the 15th today, so we'll be able to know on the 16th. Now, God of War Shield Crash. Wow. I did not expect this one coming. God of War just got nerfed again. Shield Crash adjusted active damages from 150, 300, 450 to 100, 250, and 400. So they took 50 damage on all levels. That's crazy. That's a crazy amount of damage that they just took off. I think even from last patch, Divinity Divinity um, builds were not working too much because they were just getting massacred by night builds. And I think with this one, I think they're gonna just be less and less uh, Divinity uh, builds. I know some people would also run God of War because he's just a good tank, but with this one. I'm not too sure if they're gonna keep using him. I'm not too sure. Uh, maybe they'll still use him as a tank, as a frontline, just as a as a death slaughter. But that's about it. I don't see God of War being that much helpful, unless in maybe certain certain situations. But I think that's a big nerf in that in that situation. I think that's a very big nerf, and we'll we'll see if it gets reversed. We'll see if it gets reversed because that's a that's a pretty big nerf. Um, also, we have uh, Dragon Knight after uh, Resonance. Um, it got adjusted its overtime magical damages while dealing normal attacks from 30 to 10 points per second. Okay. You know, something in game. You know, that's. I think that's going to be something in game that, like I said, it's we're going to be able to. We're going to need to see. Um, some of this stuff, I, I still am trying to get used to this stuff. Um, not all the the skills I've learned um, by mind or how exactly it works. I'm still working on it. You know, give me some time. I'll learn and I'll be a little bit better next time. Especially with this one. Um, let's, get, let's go ahead and move a little bit forward. Shadowcrawler adjusted his attack from... 90, 180, 360, 285, 170, and 340. Basically, at uh, 1 star, took 5 damage off, 2 star took 10 damage off, and at uh, 3 star took 20 damage off. It's a small nerf. It's going to it's going to give it it's going to give it a a pretty um a change in the game. I still think people are going to be running um, shadow color especially for assassin sets because of just its, its skill just because of its skill and I think shadow color is really good in, a, in an assassin build but with that said that was the patch notes now something I want to get into and the build that I 
I personally am going to try in casual of course if you want to try this I'll put a link to this build down below now you don't have to use exactly how I put it you do not have to do that you could always put in other pieces that you might think would be better this is just my own personal um, build that I might be running and um, hopefully winning with so you can see right there that is the team that I have we got Red X Chief, Tusk Champion, Swordsman, Skull Hunter, Dwarf Sniper, Lord of Sand, Werewolf, Wind Ranger, Storm Shaman, and Razor Claw. Obviously, we got our uh, our tanks. We got Red X Chief, Tusk Champion. Um, we also got uh, Werewolf and Razor Claw, who are going to be our um, our summoners. And then we got our damage dealers. Which is going to be Swordsman, Skull Hunter, Draw Sniper, Lord of Sands, and Wind Ranger. We're going to need that Storm Shaman um, for that Cape Clan and stuff. And obviously, Storm Shaman, I believe, is a is a must for any build because Storm Shaman is just OP in my opinion. It's just OP. Now, the reason I picked the people the the build in this way is because we're going to have two raised synergies. And um, and one and two um, class synergies. Now you guys, you gotta remember. Not the the stuff we're gonna be looking at right here. It's gonna be a little bit different in this new patch. Obviously, if you want to switch from Lord of Sands to maybe Warmy Boy to get that extra summoner, or um, you know, you know, you can go both ways. It all depends on how you want it. But let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit so we can check the synergies that we're gonna be getting. We're obviously going to get the Beast Synergy, and if you guys don't remember, oh, the Beast Synergy is going to be getting, instead of getting 10, you're going to be getting, where are you? I lost it. Where are you? I lost it. There you go. Instead of getting 10%, you're going to get 15%. Alright, sorry about that guys, I am back. I actually had to read, exactly, reread something because um, it wasn't looking right in this um, website. But, actually, this website already has the um, next patch notes already included. Surprise, surprise! Here we go. So, you guys will have, for this build, you guys will have the Beast Synergy, which is the 4 Beast Synergy which will be the 25% attack damage instead of I believe it was the 15 that was before this one also you'll have the 4 cave clan synergy which is the 350 HP which will be good obviously make it make the cave clan a little bit more tanky that way storm Shaman can live a little bit more proc and all that stuff Swordsman would be a little bit more tanky, do a little bit more damage. And I completely forgot that we have the Dwarf um, Synergy, which it uh, increases the attack range by 2. Nothing too special, but it's there. On this side, we will be having the Hunter's Synergy as well. It has um, 35 base attack damage, plus 35 base attack, and 35% chance to ignore evasion. Now, combine that with this, uh, the 25% attack damage on here, I believe the Hunters on this one would be doing a lot, a lot of damage. I believe this Wind Ranger, Wind Ranger would be doing quite a bit of damage and the Dwarf Sniper as well. Uh, Lord of Sand and, uh, uh Lord of Sand, mm, it's, it's gonna be doing okay. I think in this situation, if, for this one, you, I think you might want to switch to Wormy Boy. But it's, it's all preference, it's all preference. Also, we will be having the Warrior Synergy, which is the plus six armor. Which is not too bad. It's not too bad, but it's gonna be there. That Synergy is gonna be there. Now, with that being said, yeah, technically three uh, race synergies and two um, class synergies. Now that's the team right there. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the link. I'm going to post it on the description 
if you guys did like this video if you guys did like this build and want to try it out please leave a like down below put a comment down below as well if you have any other suggestions that i may have missed or maybe something that i did wrong and think that something will be better in its place or maybe have a new entire build for this next patch that will be coming up this is my first um patch note detailed so if i did do okay please let me know if you think i can do better if i think i should be a little bit more um knowledgeable i know that for sure i will be getting better as we go but for the first one i think i did okay if you guys want to leave a like down below if you want to use this build please use it in casual before you take it into rank if you do like it please leave a like down below subscribe don't forget to share and don't forget to click that Notifi notification bell button so you can know about future uploads i will catch you guys later have a classy day eugenics generation stay classy